it's Barbara. Uh, I guess it may be raining out there. The deck is wet. The gizmo says rain, but the sun is coming out, so I don't think it's going to be rainy all day. And that's good. Good morning. It's Barbara. I always fix my hair when I say hi to you. <laughs> Thank you for joining me for coffee. Christy's here. Yay. I'm sure she's not sleeping because I yelled at the dogs right outside her bedroom door. <laughs> I'm not sleeping. Oh, <laughs> she's coming down the steps right now. I'm not sleeping. I'm not going to be on camera, though. I haven't looked at myself in a mirror. Okay. I'm uh, just a disembodied voice. Okay. All right. Oh, and I need to make her coffee, so hold on. All right. All right. Christy has her coffee. It's uh, settled down a little bit here. It's been a little bit noisy, so I'm going to say good morning again. It's Barbara. Thank you for joining me for coffee. This is my first coffee, although I will admit it's all the way down to here now. So, you know, it wasn't my first sip with you, as I sometimes do, but not a lot lately. Today is my family birthday dinner. Tomorrow is my birthday. And Christy is here, and she had a good trip, enjoyed her train trip, looking forward to her trip back. I don't know what that says about what she's expecting for her visit with us. <laughs> I like train trips. Yeah. I have to solve mysteries on trains. <laughs> Apparently she didn't sleep very well on the train, but she solved a mystery while she was not sleeping well. <laughs> so I'm sure it was a cozy mystery, though. Anyway, good morning. So I got a lovely birthday gift yesterday in the mail from the wonderful Danielle. She sent me a card. And Minnie's my blanket is going to be so stunning. Danielle is like the sock queen. She, I'm sh last year, I'm sure she made over 50 pairs of socks. And she, she always has mini gloves. And look what she sent me. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I could do something. And a lot of these are self-striping. I mean, I could do some crazy, crazy thing with these if I had any mojo. But I, I'm pretty sure they're going in my blanket. But, you know, because as I my blanket gets bigger, because I'm doing a, the giantest granny square ever, it's going to be a king size giant granny square the rows get really long you know so a bigger mini goes a long way and that's nice anyway thank you my dear what a fun present to get in the mail yesterday i really appreciate it <sighs> but it's uh felt a little spring-like around here lately and carol asked me about um spring bulbs and flowers and stuff the dogs are all over christy she's sitting right across from me um, and I'm not going to show you her because she hasn't looked at herself yet. Um, which reminded me, I forgot to tell you, my tiny little miniature daffodils are coming up. Those tiny little ridiculous miniature daffodils that I have in my front are coming up and they're so adorable. So I'm going to have a bouquet of tiny little daffodils. My par at my park, one of the daffodils has, was in bud yesterday. So today I'm quite sure. It'll be in bloom. I'm quite sure. So spring is busting out all over. And I'm pretty sure my hyacinths are coming up. I, in the past years, have gotten like, well, it's my birthday in March. So I've gotten like baskets. In fact, last year my dad gave me a beautiful, sent me a beautiful, my parents, uh, sent me a beautiful basket that had bulbs in it, you know, daffodils, and including hyacinths. And I can't have any hyacinths in the house because they are too fragrant and I just puff up like a balloon. Um, but I can have them outside. So every time I have gotten over the years hyacinths in bulb, I have been planting them in the front corner of my house. And so I have hyacinths coming up. So I would be able to, I like hyacinths. I love the way they smell. I love the way they look. I can't have them in the house, but I can have them in my yard. So anyway, tiniest little grassy sprouts of daffodil leaves coming up. And they're going to, the, the reason they're so ridiculous is I didn't realize they were tiny. I thought they were normal size daffodils. And um, so I put them in my front next to my garage. But the, thing, <laughs> but the thing is, my house is so far set back from the road. 
I wanted, you know, to have daffodils to look at in the, you know, when I was coming home and, you know, whatever. Uh-uh, you got to be walking on the sidewalk right next to them. They're only that tall. But they are adorable. They are adorable. Oh, right. They, it is, it is, but you know, it was it's also charming. Okay, good. <laughs> what are you gonna do with a daughter like mine? <laughs> Cherish her. I do, I do. They know I do. <laughs> they know I do. Anyway, so today everybody's coming. The Jason and Allison and the girls. I just texted Isabel. Isabel is texting now. I just texted Isabel. They have they have uh she got an iPhone for Christmas. I don't think I told you this. She got an iPhone for Christmas. I think it was Christmas, pretty sure. Maybe her birthday. But I think it was Christmas. Anyway, Allison had to get an iPhone too. But previously, Allison had had a, uh, an Android phone. But Apple apparently has this ability to, like, pair phones. And you can control one phone from the other phone. So she got an iPhone as well. So she controls Isabel's iPhone from hers. So Isabel, you know, there are time limits that she has to, you know, she can't be on the on her iPhone after a certain hour or before a certain hour. And it, and Allison has a way to monitor what she's doing on her oh, phone. That's great. Yeah. That's really nice. Yeah, because I mean, she's only 10. But in this day and age, you know, so anyway, so Allison can keep track of what's going on pretty well on, you know, and she, you know, and it's got, of course, the find the phone, which is find the kid and all that stuff. So anyway, but because under these parameters, Nana is able to text Isabel. So because we weren't thinking ahead very well, I texted her and said, what do you and Sammy want for dinner tonight? I'm going to the store <laughs> because, of course, they aren't going to eat the gorgeous things I told you all about for dinner yes yesterday, um, crab cakes and such. So um, I'm going to go to the store to get mac and cheese because we do not have any mac and cheese. And I'm going to get four boxes because we make two at a time. And um, then we'll have them for next time just in case. But... Oh, and did I tell you we're having Nana and Dappy Camp again this August? They're coming for a week. So that's exciting. I have to start planning that because, man, I got to up my game. They go they go to Grandma Janice and Pop Pop's house the week before ours, which is my ex and his wife, who we get along with very well. Christy's father. She's sitting here. I w <laughs> You've never heard me say a bad word about him. Um, but... Like but... Then Janice is like posting on Instagram, hey, here we are in Legoland, and here we are at the this place and down and they live down the shore in Jersey. So they're all you know, they're already you know <laughs> I mean so I gotta up my game. Franklin Institute. Yeah, I should take them to the on the train to the Franklin Institute. Mm -hmm. We're doing that tomorrow, so I'll I'll check it out. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. So I'll take them on a, on the train to the Franklin Institute, and I and I well I did up my game last year because I was watching this. I'm like, holy cow! And they're going to come here, and what are they going to do? Sit around on their devices and cuddle the dogs for a week, you know? So then I took them on a horseback ride. That was primo. Mm -hmm. That really worked, yeah. and then we'll do that again. But anyway, I got to be thinking. But Hershey Frank, Park, Franklin? No, I'm not going to Hershey Park. <laughs> I'm not taking them anywhere that I'm not going. <laughs> Although I was thinking about um, tubing Island. down the Brandywine. Ooh. Dennis and I tubed down. The Brandywine River is right next to us, but we have to go far down to do this like commercially. Um, but um, Dennis and I did that with friends quite a few years ago now. I mean, it must be 10 years ago at least. But it was a lot. Of, it was a lot of fun, and um, we can tie our all our tubes together so we don't get separated on the on the. It's really like a creek. It's no. like a no. big. It's a big creek. Maisie, go lay down. It's like a. It's like a big creek, um, and it depends on how the water is at that time. 
It could be too low to tube, it could be too high and dangerous, but anyway. Now, I'll take suggestions. <laughs> I'm taking suggestions so, that, so because uh, I really had to scramble last, last year when I saw what my competition was doing. Now, Christy, Christy's going over to Stephen Janice's on Thursday, on Tuesday. She's going to be, like, telling them all my secrets. No, I won't. You could tell them the story, though. It would be okay. <laughs> How I had a scramble last year. Well, if it makes you feel any better, you're taking me to Philly. Well, I'm taking you to Philly. But where you're taking me to Philly, and they'll be taking me nowhere. We sit around and chat. But we normally do that, there. too. But tomorrow, Christy and I are going to Philadelphia. She's taking me on a museuming day for my birthday. And I'm very excited. But I have no idea what shoes I'm going to wear. So I need to think about that. Anyway. Sorry to make your video chaos. <laughs> I'm glad to have chaos. Half the time I'm so boring I can't stand myself. Anyway. So. Today is family day. And I got her room clean enough for her to be in. So. No complaints there, although she has a very high tolerance for clutter and mess. She grew up, well, I told you yeah, last, yesterday about the house she grew up in. So, and she knows me because, you know, I'm oh, her mother. and I am not, I, ha, I did see that video. I am not stressed out about when you come at all. Oh, I, good. I straighten up. Yes. So that you can, like, walk. put a bed. Well, you can always walk in my house. Okay. It's just the surfaces. Our tables are covered in things. I don't yeah. know where I got that from. <laughs> yeah, I can't even imagine. But no, I can't. did not stress out. Oh, I'm so glad. <clears throat> I used to stress. This is the, this is what I talked about yesterday. Um, I used to stress so much when my parents were coming, and you know, and my mother n never said a word. You know, it's all me. It's all about me. Anyway, all right. This is enough. <laughs> She won't be in my video, but she's in my video, uh, my vlog. Anyway, have a wonderful day. Oh, and it's early today because we our time changed last night. Um, so uh, we lost an hour. That's why I got up. Okay, sorry. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. That's why. Yeah. Anyway, I used to try to save that out. Oh, no. Uh, in the spring, I used to try to save that hour, that extra hour we got. Oh, in the fall. Oh, my God. Normally, I don't get cor correct. Normally, you're correcting me on the other side of the camera, and I don't actually hear it. This, this, is, this is not typical. In the fall, when I was working, I used to try to save that hour. I used to spend my Sunday exactly the same as Saturday, and then extra hour Sunday, Monday morning, you know. Does that make any sense? I'm sorry. Yes. Does it? Perfectly. Oh, good. I was asking them. I know, but I'm also behind the camera. <laughs> That's true, you are. <laughs> Christy's here. <laughs> that was the first thing I said. <laughs> anyway, well, we're going to go. I have to go to the store and move the car because we Kim is coming probably around noon-ish, and uh, Jason and Allison. And so we need to move the dog car if we're going to take him for a walk today. So otherwise we get parked in. So I'm going to move the car and go to the store. And Christy's going to relax and do some stitching, and I don't know what she's... Yeah, hold on. Anyway, a lot going on here. And I'm going to go. Please take good care of yourselves. Have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. And um, I will talk to you tomorrow for a few minutes. I don't, yo, know, that we, the other thing is we need to think about our schedule and figure out our train and all that stuff. So, for tomorrow, because we're taking the train to the city. Taking the train to the big city. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, that's a great idea. Franklin Institute with the girls on the train. I'm going to win the, the, Nana camp this year. <laughs> oh, Janice will get a kick out of that. I'm not done yet. They're hearing me. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the ranch, please take good care of yourselves. Please, please stay safe and stay sane.